What up, fools? Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this effect. Uh, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna babble at all. I promise, I swear, I swear. We've all seen it, those YouTubers swoosh, swoosh, swoosh in every single video ever, ever. Uh, and today I'm gonna show you how to do it um, the proper way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna be good. Uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. So uh, I'm not going to babble, I promise. Uh, I know I'm doing it now, but I'm not gonna do it, right? Not gonna do it. Ooh, yeah, about that. Um, I accidentally recorded the screen cap at 480p, so a lot of it looks like a potato, but I've re-recorded some stuff to sort it out, so sorry. This video is gonna be five minutes. Let's go. Right, so we're here in the timeline. You've got your footage on there and you've got the footage that you want to give this swooshy effect to. So it's quite a slow clip and I want it to go round and up and swoosh up there. Nice, fast effect. Let's go. So I want you to right click on your clip. I want you to go to replace with After Effects composition and that's gonna open up After Effects. So like I said, you've gotta have After Effects for this. Yeah. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna link in your Premiere Pro file and turn it into an After Effects composition. Fantastic. You need to find a place to save that and that is right here or wherever you want it to be. So let's click off that and our composition is right here. So we've got our clip. All you have to do is right click on your clip, hit pre-compose, move all attributes into a new composition and okay. Fantastic. We've got a nice gold clip instead. Makes it worth more. What you're going to do again is you're going to right click on the actual clip and then you're going to go up to time, then enable time remapping, otherwise known as control alt and T. So you've got your start and your end. You've got two keyframes that are going to indicate the start and the end of the clip. So all we're going to do is we're going to add in some keyframes. So I'm going to add in a keyframe around about here, which is where I want the effect to start. And I'm going to add a keyframe where I want the effect to kind of finish, which is right here. So what we've done now is we've created two little anchors to keep the clip where it is. And if we start moving these around, we're gonna start affecting the time. So if I just hop this over here, it's just gonna speed up time, right? It's taking that clip, it's taking it all the way up there. Lovely. We're working in seconds here, so we wanna make this probably this effect under a second long. We just do the same again. Would you look at that? So what we're gonna do to make this effect a little bit smoother, like my voice, is we're going to easy ease these keyframes. So I'm gonna drag and click on both of them and hit F9. That makes it into a nice curve. We can see the effect that that has if we click Graph Editor. Graph Editor. So we can see we've got a nice little molehill. One thing that it does wrong though, is it creates a end point. So because it likes easing in and easing out, there's always that definite moment where it ends. And we don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and just drag that up just a tad, like there. We're gonna do the same thing with that one. And what that's gonna do is it's actually, instead of going to the line where it's gonna get flat, it's gonna speed up a bit. It's so that makes it so it doesn't stop. You can give it the kind of motion you want by just pulling these lines and it will have a little bit of a different motion. So if you pull the left one to the right side, it's gonna slow into a fast and then back down to a slow. So that's quite cool. So all we're gonna have to do is go into the effects and presets, type in force, force, just force. And we're just gonna change our motion blur samples to 16 motion samples. I feel like that gives it quite a nice little effect. And as you can see, we've added a little bit of motion blur. Keep the shutter angle on 180. That is your kind of average shutter angle. You could whack that up for more motion blur effects. Depends how much you want to go with it. But I don't want to go too over the top. So what that does is you can see if I just flick it on and off, it just adds a nice little amount of motion blur. So now if we try that without. And we try that with. So there we go, we've got the effect that we want. And you may say, Charlie, how do we get that back into Premiere Pro without rendering it? Have to dealing with render times right at the bat. I don't want to wait for render times. I want to continue with my edit. All we do is we make sure we press Control S, otherwise known as save. We click away and would you look at that? Our file is now in Premiere Pro. Saying that though, the, the playback kind of sucks. You can sort that issue out by uh, rendering the clip by just easily hitting enter and rendering your files. But um, like, a, uh, like a goddess once said, ain't nobody got time for that. So we just deal with it. That's, that's what I do. 
And would you believe it, we're now here at the end of this journey. It's not taken too long because you know what I didn't do? Make a backstory for everything but here we are thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining me on today's episode if you've enjoyed today's episode make sure to stick around on the channel for more uh we've got loads more filmmaking and video editing kind of stuff coming up uh we're building a community so ladies and gentlemen if you want to know a little bit more so one thing i asked in a poll is whether people would be interested in having a discord about filmmaking and video editing so whether you're video editing and you want to just talk to somebody ask some advice you want to get some feedback you want to just talk and communicate and network with other video editors and filmmakers what i'm doing is i've created a place for you to go it isn't much just yet but that's exactly what i need from you guys is it's a place for you guys to come and hang if you're editing and you want to just chill and talk to some people or you want to listen to some music or whatever you just want to interact we've got everything we need we've got a welcome page I did that. We've got some text channels. We've got a place where I'm going to be giving away freebies, whether it's my own stuff or I'm finding stuff online. And we've got video editor channels. So if you want to talk to other video editors who are currently talking about edits or I don't know, whatever. We've got some rooms for them, rooms for filmmakers. One of the big things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing work listing. So if I get any work and I don't want to do it or I can't do it or there's other jobs or you guys are putting jobs out there for other YouTubers, blah, blah, blah. There is a work listing place where we can put job listings and all that there is also a need help um side to the to the discord which is you just sit in one of these help lines and somebody maybe comes in and has a chat and talks to you about what problem you're having in video editing or even just life you know might as well do it and then we've got to make friends but i'm going to do some more stuff to it i just need you guys to come in and populate so please hit that link down below go to the discord and uh come and join um i've never done anything like this so it could be fun we'll see we'll see what happens it could go all tits up yes so ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it make sure to stick around do the bloody blah hit the subscribe button hit the other button because you know it helps out the channel it really helps out the channel i will see you in the next one no.